that is Farley. Take one. Mark. I started dancing because a ballet company from Mississippi came and performed at my family's church when I was six years old. And I was so struck by what these dancers were doing, particularly the male dancers, because I thought here was power and poetry combined together. And I was so mesmerized by this. And I started taking classes a year later. My first performance as a company member was in The Firebird, and I was a green horse. Chagall did these crazy costumes and you look like an alligator with a bathing suit on, <laughs> but we call it the green horse. And it was a magnificent experience because as a student at the school, we were given free tickets to watch the company perform every night. And my whole four years as a student, I almost never missed a performance. And to get to finally be a participant in these uh, masterworks that I had watched. There's a moment after the Firebird has um, vanquished the sorcerer when all of us monsters fall down on the ground in the dark and then she does this long beautiful lullaby solo and we're lying on our back listening to the orchestra play Stravinsky looking up at that chandelier that hovers over the theater and I was like this is the most privileged life anyone could imagine lying in a Chagall fat suit having done you know this special choreography with Stravinsky's music coming out of the pit priceless if I were not a dancer, I would either be the pastor of a church or a fashion designer or a movie director or a professor of British literature at King's College, Cambridge. <laughs> <laughs> Do you binge watch any TV shows? I never watch TV. Well, with one exception, my brother Matthias is number 41 on the Indianapolis Colts, so I do watch his football games, but that's it. The nights when I'm in the performance, but I'm not in a particular ballet. I'll stand in the front wing and I'll watch the dancers. And one of my favorite things about getting to watch from that very first wing is while the curtain is down to see the dancers in those final moments before the ballet is about to begin. And they're, you know, dabbing their sweat and they're, you know, doing jumping jacks or spitting into garbage cans or whatever, you know, to prepare themselves. But then there's that moment and they take their places and then all of a sudden, they know it's about to happen, and even up to the very last second, some of them still look pretty pedestrian. But then the moment that that curtain goes up, all of a sudden they're exalted, and they're greater than they were just moments before, in that hidden time before the curtain rose. And to watch that moment of uh, transformation is exhilarating to me. And it happens all the time, every night, you know. My name is Silas Farley, and I'm a dancer with New York City Ballet.